Carolina Department of Corrections hosted its second Father's Voice event at one of its institutions. The program allows inmates with children to record their voice reading a book. The child can then play that book whenever and wherever they want to. Our Georgia Reed Godfrey found out more about the program and why inmates are working hard to be involved. Unfortunately, I don't get to see him. Um, by him being in Washington, D.C., and I'm here, you know, it's kind of hard. He's just one of thousands of inmates in the South Carolina Department of Corrections, separated from their child. Many haven't seen their little one in years. Even though I talk to him on the phone, this, this right here would be special for him. That something special is this, an audio book. Inmates who haven't gotten in trouble while incarcerated are given the books to record their voice. The books are then sent to their child. He said, Mommy, that's, that's Daddy on, on the book. And she said, yeah. She said, he said, um, he can read it to you every night. He said, Mommy, are you serious? I can hear Daddy all the time. <laughs> he was very happy about it. The Father's Voice program was born out of initiatives established by the Riley Institute, named for former South Carolina governor and United States Secretary of Education Dick Riley. This enables the fathers here to say to their children, you know, this reading is important. This is a children's book. I'm your father. I want you to read. Close to 200 inmates have participated in this program since it started two years ago. But this is the second time it's been held at the men's institution. I just hope that they, they realize that, you know, how much I care for them. They, they obviously know I care for them, but they just can understand what the value is of reading. The program started as a mother's voice in the women's prison in 2016. So far, the department has spent close to $5,000 on the audiobooks and received more than $7,000 in donations. In Columbia, Georgia Reed Godfrey, 7 News. The department is able to get the books at a discounted rate from Hallmark. They've bought more than 180 books for that program so far.